Hey guys, hope y'all having a great day. Of course, my name is Jacob Myers, and today we're going to be talking about a new piece of gear I just received in the mail, and do a little unboxing and kind of get my thoughts and my perspective on this piece of gear. And as you saw in the title, is the Tethered Mantis Saddle. Uh, it's something that we don't have a lot of experience with in the past, with hunting out saddles, but something we're going to be kind of maybe implementing more so in this fall and see how it works for us. Now, as you guys know, we are huge proponents of the running gun style of hunting, especially on public land, and staying mobile and staying extremely light. That's one reason why we use lone wolf tree stands, which has helped us be able to do that, especially on public land. But there's some times when even you need something even lighter. You need to stay even more mobile and be able to really kind of, something we're going to be implementing more so is still hunting your way to a spot, finding a tree while you're hunting to it, and then be able to get up quickly and set up very quickly. And I'll say it's really hard to still hunt with a stand on your back, in my opinion, with archery equipment. Where a saddle, you can either be wearing it or having it in your backpack and be able to save a lot more weight. And it's a lot more flexible, of course, because, you know, you're just wearing it. Which, again, I haven't seen the saddle yet. It's still in the package. But once we get it out, I'll try to put it on it and to see how it functions and get my thoughts on it. But, again, there's spots where this right here is a perfect setup, but there's other spots where I don't want to be carrying you know, 24 pounds of gear of stands and sticks, along with camera gear, backpacks, bow, camera, all that kind of stuff. So that's one reason why we're looking at implementing the saddle a little bit more so in our scheme for this fall. So once pulling out the actual saddle, first thing I realize is the kind of quality. It feels really good in the hands. It's very light, but it feels extremely strong. And after hearing about some of the testing done with these saddles, uh, I can see why you know they were able to test so high. Uh, I think they, I think I believe I heard they broke one of the machines that was testing the weight capacity uh, at a little over 3,000 pounds. Uh, and another thing that's just kind of nice that came with it, which I didn't, I didn't realize this was going to come with the saddle itself, but again, me being new to saddle hunting, uh, is actually with the bridge. It's an am steel bridge that's been spliced, uh, which is, again, how you'll connect to the actual tether when you're in the tree. Uh, the hardware on it looks phenomenal as well, just of the, the quality of what is there. Um, it's something that... Again, I'm not necessarily used to, you know, having a safety harness is one of those things that, you know, I've never had a super fancy safety harness. And this right here, just the quality of what's on this saddle kind of blows me away. Uh, and it's actually something I'm kind of excited to put on real quick. So trying out the saddle for the first time or putting it on was tricky at first. Uh, one thing that was kind of catching me off guard is you had never used a saddle before, never even, you know, seen one in person is this how to how it kind of clips in it was pretty user friendly plus came with great instructions for uh, people like me but uh it's got one waist belt that you know make sure the bridge which i found out very quickly on is make sure the bridge is in front of you and you step through the bridge to put the saddle on uh if not it'll be behind you and then you can't get to it but once you get the bridge in front of you pull the saddle up get your uh your waist belt and you're just going to clip it closed and tighten it up, okay? Once you do that, it's going to sit on your hips perfectly, and all you do is just grab your two leg straps, and then they actually clip in, which is kind of smart. There's tabs on each of the actual uh, sides of the waist belt, and they actually clip into those tabs, which is pretty smart. Just they kind of keep everything up close to you right there, so it's nice and comforting and holds you tight to it, but it's not like using any... Um, unnecessary buckles that's pretty much where i'm going with it i mean it's very very um 
they use very little metal on this whole thing, which is very nice because it keeps, I guess, the weight down, of course, off. And it also makes it quieter. Um, but once you get those put on, get your leg straps put on, and cinch them down, you're pretty much good to go. And without you actually attached to either your uh, linesman belt going up the tree or your bridge, it doesn't sit, at least on me, it doesn't sit super snug on the back end, but once you kind of pull the bridge out, it sits perfectly on you. It actually, you know, cups you like it should, which I can definitely see as being a really comfortable, which, you know, going back to us wanting to go to a saddle for some of our spots, our whole thing was, number one, with comfort. How's it going to feel comfortable sitting up inside a tree, hanging off the side of the tree? Um, so that was number one. And then number two of... My thoughts is I'm a guy, I like to get dressed in the stand. And to be able to get dressed in the stand is nice because I sweat pretty heavily walking in, especially in hanging the stand too, um, especially early season. And those you know nice, cool, crisp mornings where it's in the 40s in the mornings, 40s, low 50s, you know, it gets a little nippy. It's nice to be able to put your clothes on in the stand, you know, your, your outer layers. You know, I wear very basic uh, pants and T-shirt walking in. And that was my only gripe about the saddle is can I do that, which you can't. But my thought is just, you know, play it out smart, get to the base of the tree, put on whatever bottom layers uh, that I'm really going to need, and then go up the tree and, you know, do that. So it was something we'll test out and see how it works with us. But other than that, like, it, I find this absolutely phenomenal how easy it is to use this product and put it on. Um, it's kind of dummy proof to be honest at least putting it on now climbing a tree might be different so we'll see how that goes so one cool thing guys is this carrying pouch which i purchased with my saddle and i've got to kind of play around with it exactly how this attaches to the side of my saddle but this is going to allow me to keep my bridge linesman belt um, and any other accessories or necessities in this around my hip uh, one cool thing I kind of thought about is my rangefinder would fit in one of these pouches, these little side pouches, which would be really cool and nice and handy. Keep it right there where I can come out, click, slip it back in, and be good to go. Um, but it, it, it just seems very, very handy to have one of these on your side, be able to keep everything all in one package. Um, unlike, you know, with my tree stand, where I got my lines and belt somehow attached to me, along with my tether and normally my pocket, then I'm wearing my harness which I normally don't even put on to, I'm at the base of the tree and going up, and then I got my stand, where this is like all into one package, all attached. You put it on, good to go, don't have to worry about forgetting anything as long as you put it all back in here. Uh, so that, that's pretty exciting, one thing I'm really, really excited to try out. Another thing I like about it is, even if it gets wet, this is extremely, you can't, well, you might be able to see, see you see my hand in there? So it's very light material, but very breathable. So even if this gets wet, I wouldn't have any issue worrying about this getting mildewy. You know, let it air dry, you're gonna be good to go. Um, so that's, that's another thing I kind of like about it. Again, you know, this keeps everything nice and compact right against your hip. Um, other than that, also they came with came with a tethered pouch, which is pretty cool. So, as you can see that. Um, and of course, a decal, which this might look good on my laptop for the podcast. Kind of cool. But anyway. Um, other than that, I will say the directions on here are pretty simple and easy to use. Uh, it's pretty basic and was a, you know, this is simple, simple to do. Um, but dummy like me can do it. I think anybody can. So very easy and uh, user friendly. Now the only question is if I can climb a tree with it and have confidence, which I think I can. Um, that's one thing I'm excited to try. Andrew's going to be in town. Oh, a couple days actually. Uh, he's going to be doing a couple big hunts with me uh, this week um, up here in Tennessee on some public land. So, well, I don't know if we'll be using the saddle this weekend just because I don't have a, the platform yet and I don't want to use the little sticks just because they have one step and that wouldn't work and I can't use screwing steps. So, I've got a problem. So, until my platform comes in, I'm not going to be able to necessarily probably use it. But I'm still going to go out and practice with the saddle and get comfortable setting my tether in the bridge at a certain height that makes it easy to shoot around. That's the one difference is, you know, you're sitting in a kind of a squad, I guess you could stand to, kind of like a squad position from what I've seen, again, haven't experienced it. And it's something I guess it's going to take a little bit of use, or getting used to, but I heard once you do it for a little bit, it's no big deal, and you're actually pretty well supported just in your position. So that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I am excited to get to be able to use all this and show you guys kind of our mindset on Because, again, I'll say this. When I first heard about saddles, probably 
almost two years ago, I was like, no, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. And I, you know, everyone, I started hearing more people talk about it, started listening to some podcasts about it, and it kind of changed my mind. Um, just on the mindset of how light this system is. I mean, I, I need to put this on a scale, but this can't be more than, I don't know, a, a pound and a half, two pounds maybe. I mean, this right here is pretty much the heaviest thing, other than the saddle, it's like the heaviest thing in your tether. Um, so just having something that light where I can go into the, I can go to the mountains, I can go to the you know, hill country, go deep in the swamps with something so light that you have on my bag and to be able to use that product and be, just be lighter on my feet, that's huge. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it. And that's what we're doing here. So you're gonna see throughout this fall us using the saddle, the tethered mantis, and kind of getting our feedback on it. Uh, I don't know what we'll expect. Uh, will we love it? Will we hate it? We'll find out. Um, but I'm excited to try it out. And again, this might be something to kind of give some of you guys that maybe are hardcore tree stand hunters like me and Andrew, maybe a new mindset for something to be able to use in your lineup. And maybe, maybe, which, oh man, it, it killed me because I do love my stands, but they, they talk about, you know, you use a saddle and you sell pretty much all your tree stands, which I only have one tree stand, but I don't know about that. Anyways, guys, super excited about this fall, super excited about trying out this product. I hope y'all enjoyed this podcast. Not this podcast, this this video. Jesus. So, but anyways, make sure you tune into the podcast too. If you found us guys on, on YouTube, we do have a podcast that we talk about this stuff every week, have awesome guests on, so stay tuned. But also make sure you subscribe to the podcast, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and leave a like and comment on this uh, video if you enjoyed it or if you didn't just let us know appreciate it